<laughs> anyway, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, uh, I just thought I would check back in with you guys. Anyway, you know, people ask me all the time. They say, "Hey, Robbie, Robbie Rocket, what, what's it like to be a rock star?" You know, and I, you know, I usually don't know how to respond to that. So, you know, I, I prepared some stuff. I got it written down here somewhere. Hold on, let me, let me find that real quick. No, it's not in that pocket. See, I, I don't see it in that. Anyway, I had a speech all prepared. I lost that shit, so please forgive me if I'm just gonna have to like I don't know off the top of my head. You know what is it like to be a rock star? Let me think. Uh, uh, you know, I, you, it's hard to see. I know that. You know what I'm saying? Cause your head gets in the way. You're rocking out. You know, you're beating them drums. And stuff's flying everywhere. You know, and then plow. You know, a bra hits you in the face. I don't know. It's uh. It's a hard life being a rock star, you know. But you know, you gotta live with it, you know. Hey, go to college, kids. Get a degree, you know. Do that. Do the right thing, you know. Uh, maybe, hopefully, get a position of, uh, you know, where you can like, you know, make a change in the world. You know, it's, it takes a special person to be a rock star. You know, you can ask anybody. You know, I mean, it's 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 a different life. You gotta be committed. It's like getting a tattoo. <laughs> you, whoops! You can't change your mind now. <laughs> You got a tattoo, you know, I, I guess they got removal and stuff, but why get tattoos you're going to remove? Why not just get those temporary ones and just stick them on for a while? You could have them made. You could have a different tattoo every day. I don't know, my grandma, she said, you know, that I never to get tattoos. So I'm not going to, you know, because, you know, I, I love my grandma. and she, she feels like, you know, tattoos are, well, you know, in a way I can understand. You know, because let's say you change your mind. Well, you, you, now you got this thing, you know. This, uh, it keeps reminding you that something you've changed your mind about. You know, take take Johnny Depp for instance. You know, he had a tattoo that said, you know, Winona forever. You know, and then, uh, and, well, then they broke up. And I know that I'm sure that hurt. I don't mean to rub it in your face, Johnny, but hey, you know, I, you know, I bet that sh I bet that shit hurt. You know, I understand. You know, and now it says Wino forever. That's funny. But, you know, it's not funny, is it? You know, I think he might have changed it again. I don't remember what it is. Uh, hopefully he did. If you got pictures of Johnny Depp's new tattoo, go ahead and freaking uh, post that for us because we'd love to see it. We love Johnny Depp over here. You know, he, he came to me in a dream one night. I swear it was so real. It was like he was teaching me how to be spontaneous. You know, I love him for that, you know, because I was in a lot of pain for a while there. I have to admit, you know, I was suffering. I, I didn't know really left from right. I was upside down. I didn't understand life just like I, like I should have, you know. But, uh, you know, I really appreciate all those people out there, the, all the movie actors and actresses and, and, uh, and, and people who are involved in consciousness in any form, even if they don't really realize that they, that they are lifting people and healing people's lives, you know, and giving them something better to imagine. Because, I mean, they've done proved it that, it, you know, if you can imagine, you know, something that your mind sees it as just as real, you know, as if it did happen. So, you know, a lot of times therapy could be as easy as watching a movie, you know, just putting yourself in a good mood, laughing it out. Hey, you know, I'm, I heard about this girl. You know, I don't mean to bring up a sad subject, but, uh, you know, they, they said she was going to die. She had cancer of some sort. She went home, locked herself in for weeks, months, and, uh, and her and her husband, and, and all they did was they watched funny movies, just one funny movie after another, and they just laughed, and they laughed together, and, laughed. and after a certain period of time, I don't know how many long it was, a month, two months, or whatever, she went back to the hospital after laughing it out like that, and they said it was gone, and they said it was gone without a trace, and that she had been cured, and now, the, now it's baffling the, the doctors and the scientists, nobody understands this whole true thing, but really it's about energy, you know what I mean, body, mind, and, and, and energy fields all the same thing, and uh, if your energy field is disturbed, then your body will reflect that disturbance, so it's really important that you keep your energy field, you know, uh, in, a, in, a, in a high vibrational pitch, and, and allow yourself to heal and recover on a, on a regular, uh, you know, because that, that's what keeps your body healthy, you know, and I'm not, no, don't take my word for it, you know, Google that shit, because I'm telling you, there's, there's 
case after case after case. I mean, there's this one guy, he grew a third set of teeth. I ain't kidding you. You think I'm lying. It's the truth, man. Look it up. It's true. And, and it just happens that way. And, you know, and it's all, it all comes with a mind, spirit, body. You know, and you got you to gotta allow that to be one. You know, we've separated ourselves against ourselves in so many different ways. And, uh, you know, take circumcision, for, for instance. You know, I mean, uh, that stuff is wrong. You know, I mean, what, what are you doing to little kids when they're born? I mean, holding them down and cutting off their weenuses? I mean, come on, that that just sounds bad. I mean, getting none, 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 you know, like, you know, to endure something like that is even worse, you know. So I mean, it not only does it create a psychological problem, you know, with children who've been circumcised, you know, but it also like, you know, creates trust issues between the mother, you know, and the child because the child, you know sees their mother as God. I mean, really, that's their only source of life from the very beginning. And so when they're born, the first thing that happens is their mother allows them to, to be strapped and held down and somebody to take a sharp blade and cut their flesh, you know. I mean, I don't know. It just makes sense, you know. And, and they're also connecting circumcision to misogyny, uh, which is, you know, to hate, hating your mother or hating women. You know, and also the lack of bonding later on in life. So you lose the bond with your mother as a child when you're first born. And then also later on in life when you try to have a relationship with a woman, there's trust issues. It's psychological. It's deep down. It's not something, hey, I think I'm, gonna, I'm not going to trust women ever again. It's just something inside your head. You know, it said the first five years of your life are the most forming and shaping of your of the rest of your life they're the most important part of your life and we're talking about the, the freshly fresh moment you're born like days within your the days the moment you were born they they t do this to to the male children in America and in all of, and across the world in certain places but there's also other cultures and countries that it's unheard of that you know to 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 mutilate a child's freshly born body you know or Take a perfectly healthy organ and and uh, and cut a piece of it off, you know, to prevent something that probably would never have happened in the first place, you know. And there's documented proof. There's people out there right now who's had their 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 penises just like it was when they were born their whole life, and they've never had health problems. And you know, the misunderstanding with the circumcision is people think it's just a useless piece of skin hanging there, but it's not. It's actually more skin. Your your body. The penis extends out, and that skin there, uh, you know, unfolds and allows your penis to extend out further. Plus, the blood veins that are removed, as well as three different glands, are you know amputated. You know, it's, that stuff is you know it, that stuff's crazy. I don't understand why they're doing that. You know, I mean, hey, don't be cutting on people's ki kids anymore. You know, let those kids have a chance to like enjoy that thing before you cut it off. Jeez. I mean, don't even cut it off ever. I mean, what's the problem, you know? It's not even a question of, like, you know, right and wrong. I mean, infants have rights, you know? This is about, you know, human rights issue. This is an infant human rights. And, in the, and infant, infants have just as many rights as, as the rest of us, you know, just because they're, they can't vocalize those rights doesn't mean that, that we're, a, a, you know, can go over and, 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 and betray their trust. You know, and, and, and that's an issue we got to deal with. It's not just with children. It's with people all over the world. Just because we don't understand their language or they can't understand us doesn't make them stupid or unable to perceive or receive information, you know, based upon, you know, uh, because they, we, we can't communicate. And that's the issues in life right now is people are learn, try, learning how to communicate. That's why I love the Internet so much and film and, and audio and and. and, and live shows, but especially digital bites of, of, of information because, you know, that, that's healing the world right now. It's connectivity. It's allowing us to exchange it freely and to grow at, at, at the rate that we choose to grow. And that's the beauty of it, you know, is that we can grow and learn and find knowledge and wisdom. And, you know, that's why, you know, a, a thought or, a you know, uh, a, a, you know there, there's a certain amount of rights that people have, you know, uh, with information. But when it comes to the level of that they stifle other people from receiving that information, then we need to reevaluate how we 
patent and copyright things. You know, we can patent and copyright things until we're blue in the face, but if people need that information, they're going to find that information in some way. And it's true. It's happening all the time. So why not find a, a, a more, you know, a compromising position, or not a compromising position, but why not find, find a place where everyone benefits and, and information can flow freely. And that's what we're going towards, I believe. I feel it in my heart. I know that it's happening already all around the world. You know, no matter what's going on with Google right now and, and you know, and YouTube. You know, I do appreciate, you know, copyrights. I do understand that people have the right to say, no, we don't want you to use our stuff. You know, we made that. It took us many hours of work and, you know, and hardship to put that together, we care about it. We don't want you taking and cutting it to pieces and put and implanting yourself into something that we made, you know, to express our feelings. And, and I understand that, and that's fine with me. But at the same time, there's got to be a level of communication where things can flow, flow freely between people, between organizations, between, you know, that's what corporate is. The word corporation is organized groups coming together in agreement, working together as a whole. And that's, that's what the body is. The body is actually a corporation. You've got all these separate organs that function separately, but at the same time, they benefit the whole body by, by carrying out a function that the body itself needs. So, and that's where we are. If any part of the body turns against the rest of the body, well, then the body cannot survive. So it's really important that we allow the body to survive. And I'm not just talking about my physical body as you see in front of you right now, but I'm also talking about the body uh, of the planet, like, like you know, not just the, 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 the earth itself and the dirt and the, and the soils and, and the ecosystems and the, and, the, and the variety of living things that, are, that thrive off of that, but also the body as far as the human race and, and all creatures involved, that we got to allow the body to exchange freely and to thrive in order for us to thrive because we are all codependent upon each other. You, you know, if I try to stomp everybody else down so I can survive, I'm really just making my life emptier and, and then I'm going to sit on top of a hill by myself with all my stuff and nobody's going to be there to even know that I have it. And then it's just kind of takes away the shine and the fun of, uh, yeah, hold on, I'll be out in a minute. I ask my fans, you know, they, they're calling me right now, so... Hey, I gotta go. The show was great tonight. We had a great time. I'm glad you. I'm glad you got a chance to check it out. If you got to show up, if not, hey, if you got some bootleg videos, hey, post those things. We'd love to see your bootleg videos. You know, just make sure that they're you know good enough quality. You know, I've heard some videos that come on and they you can't even understand anything. Well, what's the point of a video if it's if you don't really, you know, if it's not really expressing what the show was? You just hear like noise. You know, it's like, you know. <laughs> You know, uh, make sure you get some good high quality recordings. You know, they got some good equipment out there right now. You can grab that stuff up at really bargain prices. That's the beautiful thing about the world right now is that they're making things uh, available to everyone at prices that everyone can afford. So let's not get all caught up, you know, in the in the strange side of it, you know, and just realize that you know this is good and this is happening and and we're gonna bring it to you. And we want you to receive it, open your heart up and let it in because, you know, that's where exchange begins. you got to open up your heart. And, and we're coming with an open heart. We want to make sure that, that before we leave, we open your heart too. But anyway, this is Robbie Rocket with Token Free Thinker. We appreciate you coming out. All right, later.